I know it's stupid to think that cars have feelings, but, um, you know, literally a couple of months ago, <clears throat> this Disco 3 was just a commercial workhorse. And it kind of reminds me, you know, back in the day when workhorses used to plough the fields until, you know, they became a nag. And then they were probably sent off for slaughter and, you know, dog food, maybe. I don't know. But we've definitely rescued this one. This Shire horse, if you like, this old workhorse gets a second lease of life. And here we are, camping, and, you know, it's making someone happy again. It's making me happy. I like it out here. It's nice and quiet. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really cool thing to do. So, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good sleep last night. Um, really warm. Quite surprising. I got my vanilla slice thing for breakfast. But we're all ready now to head off to Ali Sport. Gonna get myself a coffee when I'm there. Um, and we're gonna do the EGR blanking kit. So the first job obviously is a little bit tedious, but we've got to take the engine cover off, we've got to take the pipe work off, the air box out, um, this accessory box tray out, the battery out, that tray out and that'll give us good access to where we need to be. So uh, let's get stuck in. Now I think we're gonna be lucky because just removing those two covers that I mentioned and the engine cover, I think we can get pretty good access to the bolts we need to uh, remove. We are gonna be doing uh, a couple of things today. So one of the things we're gonna be doing is removing this pipe. So the pipe, this is the EGR recirculation pipe. Uh, we're gonna be removing these two bolts here, they're Torx bolts, and then down in here, you can just see if I remove that, uh, just <clears throat> at the bottom of the pipe, again, you can just see we've got two 8 mils that come out, and I've got an extension so I can get into those, so that is going to be easy enough. On the other side, I think it's even easier, you've got the air conditioning pipes uh, just to flex out of the way slightly, you can just see the bottom there of the pipe so yeah I don't think it's going to be too tricky I might just remove this AC sensor there yeah. so don't damage it that was too easy let's try the next one They're nice and loose, I'm so lucky. So we've got a bracket just here onto the pipe, so that needs to come off. Let's get it over there. It's just catching on this spring clip, there we go. Oh, that's grim in there. Look at that. Okay. Right, so we are gonna be getting into this um, plenum, I think it is, because it's obviously got a butterfly in there that we have to uh, deal with. We're gonna get in there and we probably have to clean it out, but look, if I just show you, there's not nice stuff in there. Here's the kit you get from Ali Sport. It's just made up of four blanking plates, really. Nothing too scientific. Uh, the only uh, detail worth well, I'll mention a few details. So obviously you get new O-rings, um, which is good, obviously, to blank that off because the other one was a bit slippery. Um, on these ones, they've actually got a notch in them. I don't know if you can see that little notch. And that corresponds to a notch on the bottom, which, yeah, you can just see is on the outside back edge. Um, so we're going to use the same bolts that we used before that we removed. So I've got my little notch here on the outside. I can just see down there where the notch is. Get that one started. That is literally it. Let's make sure I've got my notch in the right place. So just on this back side is where the notch is. So uh, access to that one was super easy. So on the right hand side of the vehicle, here is the plate we have to get off. Now you can just see that that is going to be a tricky one to get to in there. So this plastic cover, 
uh, comes out, just got a few clips around the bottom. Um, easiest way to get to them is to take your airbox lid off. Um, but I just used this pick tool to get to the clips and then it came off. That meant I had really good access to the bolt at the bottom, which was slightly tricky. Got it. Bottoms off. Uh, I've got another little bracket here. Again, it's just on in plastic, so it shouldn't be too tough. So that comes out. These clips, you can take those off. There's no need for them to be on there. Um, but they just get right in the way, look. So the bit will fit, no problem, but yeah, it should be okay. Let's try that. There we go. Oh, that's nice and loose as well. Again, these go into plastic, so they shouldn't be hard to get out. Right, let's put that back on. I don't want anything falling in there. Now the next one at the bottom is tricky, but I've got another little tool I can use. Let's try this. Now, it's plastic, so it should not be tight. I need to get it in. Yeah, okay, we're in. There we go. And drop it. Oh, yes. Okay, and the top one. There we go. Ooh, just as filthy. I mean, that is coked up. Check that out. Is that getting that on camera? I hope so, because that is rough. Let's get the blanking plate on the bottom here. There's not a notch that I can see, so I'm not too worried. There is our plate down there. Um, just going to do those up now. And we're going to pull, there's a, a retaining clip in here that pulls this um, intake box away from the butterfly housing. There you go. We've just got one bolt, which is just here. Okay, big bolt. Right, and in here, you'll see, is our butterfly. And we need to remove that. So, this needs to come out. And we need to remove that butterfly on there. So, it's free flow the whole time. Now, I've taken that bolt out of there as well and that just gives us the ability to move that around a bit because I need to take four torque screws out of here to remove the actuator there. So that's the actuator. So I've drilled four holes in there and you can, well you might not be able to, there's a steel pin just there. Now that's weakened this housing so I should be able to pull that off and then pull the pin out. Oh, that makes the job a whole lot easier. Look at that. Jesus Christ, that is rough in there. Okay, oh, this is disgusting. I'm going to go in there in the camera in a bit, but let's get this out. So, I really want you to see what's in here. I've managed to wriggle that out, so I did just be careful when you're wriggling it out of this connector here, but we've got a lot of gunk and I want to get rid of all that before we start reassembling it. I'd like to do a better job but I don't have this. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned up um, and then we're going to get that out. So we've got these two pieces of the butterfly cut out with the reciprocating saw and now we just have the pin and that should poke out. Great. It's no longer airtight so this piece here we've got to block that with something. I've taken Lars off a very important job here that pays money for Ali Sport and asked him to make me a little bung, which he's very kindly going to do because um, I've ruined this and uh, we need to bung it. Maybe this should be uh, an additional part that you get with the EGR blanking kit that Ali Sport provide. I think we could have just modified it slightly. So I've got a blanking plug in there now, so we are good to go. So we can now start putting everything together. Now, because that was easier than I thought to remove that part, that's coming off again, and we're gonna give that a clean. It deserves it, and it needs it. This should locate in here again. 
There we go. Evenly we want it, which is not that, that there. But put that housing back on. While there was a probably a less destructive way to do what we just did, I don't mind doing it that way because, you know, as long as I understand the science behind what we're doing and how we're doing it, and I'm confident that it's all good, um, that's fine. So the plug can't come out because this actuator is back in place and holding it in position. I'm going to actually take off um, this again because this is where our blanking plugs go, look. And it's much easier to do it like that. Now, do I leave them dirty or shall I clean them up? You're never going to see them because they're under the engine cover. That's on. Let's get our housing back on. Right, so I put my spring clip back in position. So when I push down, uh, it will lock. I don't want it to lock yet. So let's just make sure it doesn't lock. Pop it on. I'm not going to lock it completely. I'm going to get my clip on first. There we go then lock it now we reconnect this there we go so we've got connector connector that's good let's put our turbo nice new turbo intake pipe on that's nice and tight reconnect our mass airflow sensor they're connected that's on reconnect connected connected these are all nice and tight Okay, we're all connected. Let's see what she does. Okay, we're started all right. Very little smoke, wow. Okay. Well guys, really happy with that. Um, we even avoided the rain, the sun's come out. I'm gonna get all the covers back on. We're gonna take it for a test drive just to make sure everything's good. I'll get the camera rigged up on the windscreen. We'll do a live test. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, job's done, I think. This will be a little run to check that uh, we don't explode. There's a lot of throttle response there and very little smoke indeed that's come out the back. So that's a good sign. Okay, so that is the end of our road trip. Uh, I've done three videos while we were there and I'm uh, going to split it up into three separate films for you guys to watch here on YouTube. Uh, the first, obviously, the first episode we did was fitting the VGS glass, the panoramic glass, to the 90. Went really well. Uh, I think that's something that you guys could definitely do yourselves. Uh, the other thing we did was actually do the EGR removal on the Discovery 3 and do the remap to match. And I'm pleased to say that she's going lovely. Um, and the third thing, we actually looked at a new product that AliSport have just released, and that is that airbox for the Puma. Um, really good to see they're working on new stuff, and there's a really good uh, technical, I guess, um, look at that product about the performance gains you get just by fitting an airbox um, that they've designed. So yeah, great to see all of that going on behind the scenes here in the UK. So yeah, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you're missing out, you need to press that button. And I'll catch you on the next one. So it's been a while since I've used this toothbrush and I've got to be honest, I'm trying to think what in my Land Rover I've cleaned with it. It's too late now. I don't know what all the fuss was about, look, it's nice and clean now.